Hi, I'm Michaela with the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization, and today we are here maintaining our backyard rain garden. This rain garden is pretty well established. It's been around for about eight years, and as you can see, there aren't many bare spots. The plants are coming in well, and we aren't noticing any sign of erosion. So mulch won't be necessary in this garden at this point. Instead, we'll focus on weeds and invasive species. This rain garden not only provides water quality benefits by capturing storm water and allowing it to soak down into the ground, it provides wonderful habitat for birds, bees, and pollinator species. Today we have some alumni from the Mississippi River Green Team helping us maintain the rain garden. Hello, my name is Boyi. I worked here in 2017 and 2018 for the Green Team. And here I'm showing you guys a Zabarium elm, that's a tree. It's uh, not normally planted here, but you should remove it for good. And yeah, so we're just gonna dig it out. And you just wanna dig it out to pop the roots out and uh, you could just pull it out when it's like noticeable. When it's like too deep, then you might just wanna keep digging. And here we are, Saberi Mel. In this area of the garden, we have ID'd some invasive thistle. And I've noticed that it's taking up quite a large area. At this point, I see other stuff growing in underneath it, so I think it's okay to remove all of it. If that weren't the case, you would want to wait to remove the plant until you had something to replace it with. Okay, so this right here is a ragweed, and it's not invasive, but it's still weed, and it causes allergies for people. Uh, to pull it out, you gotta pull it from the base, and to make sure that you get the roots, the whole thing. And yeah, as it comes with the dirt, just make sure that you shake half the dirt off with it. And here we go. Hello, my name is Akia, and I was on the Mississippi River Green Team in the summers of 2014 and 2015. And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove an invasive curly dock from the rain garden. So, here as you see the curly dock has already gone to sea, so we want to be really careful and make sure that none of these seeds are able to spread and go into the rain garden. So what I'm going to do is carefully clip it below the seed heads and then place it right into the bag so that the seeds won't spread. And just like that, that's how you remove a curly dock seed. Here we have some uh, dead plant material. So it's not necessary that we remove these plant materials in a wild garden like this, but we're just going to remove it. So it'll be more aesthetic overall for this rain garden. And for some of these plants, they can be really easy to take out, so you can just use your hands and carefully take it out and fold them up. But other plant materials, you'll have to use a clipper or other tools to take them out. Do you have any questions about rain gardens? Put them in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.